Tig here. So, quick little uh, riff on Korn's Here to Stay. Uh, first off, they are using seven string guitars tuned down a whole step. So that lowest string we're hearing them play that riff on is actually a low A. So we have an A string, our fifth string, but that str note we're hearing them play is one octave lower than that. For us, though, let's just play it on our low E. That'll still work. Um, so let's go. Um, here's, here's the rhythm first. It's two quarter notes. Then four sixteenth notes on beat three. So I'm going to go down, up, down, up. Three E and a. One, two, three E and a. One, two, three E and a. Uh, beat four is two sixteenths and an eighth. So it's just going to go down, up, down. So all together, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, we could down pick the whole thing too. But I'm using this as a kind of a, a, an alternate finger picking exercise. Okay, let's look at the notes. Really simple. Open E is our first quarter note. Again, for them it would be an open A. You could play it on the A string if you want, but I'll show you why I'm playing it on E right now. F, the first fret of our low E string, is our second quarter note. So one, two. Beat three, where the four sixteenth notes go, it's going to look like this. Open E. G on the third fret, same string, F on the first fret, back to open E. And I would go down, up, down, up. If I'm working on an alternate. If you're down picking it all, just down, 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 down. But I like this as an alternate picking exercise. Okay? The very last part is starting on, this is beat four now, is starting on open E again, but it's going E, F, and then F sharp. So open, first fret, second fret, still on our low E string. So all together. So when you put beat three and beat four together, remember beat three is open, third fret G, first fret E, F, open E. Then beat four starts on that E again. So you have two E's in a row. So that second E is starting again to do the beat. Uh, four, right? E. And then in the real song, again, they're playing a low A, but they move up what's called an interval of a fourth. So if they're playing a low A, A, B, C, D is a fourth. So their sixth string, remember they're playing a seventh string guitar, so their seventh string is a low A, and their sixth string is uh, a D. A, B, C, D. So they're moving up a fourth. So if we play our low E as our lowest one, E, F, G, A is up a fourth. So we just move it to our fifth string and play the same riff. That's it. Pretty easy, right? Pretty fun, pretty easy. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. I'm going to teach more of this song. I just thought I would make this a short one. I was just it came to me earlier, and I thought, oh, I'm going to do a real quick lesson of this. Uh, so subscribe. I've been doing lots of live streams lately, so there's a little bell, notification bell. Uh, beside the subscribe button, uh, we'll let you know when I'm doing the live streams. You can come in and meet me, say hi, work on different stuff together. So far, I've done a few, and they've been really, really fun. Uh, musiclearning.com is the channel, or my, sorry, my uh, website, which you might want to visit. You can join the mailing list to know of contests and, and stay up to date with all the lessons I'm doing, um, which is fun. And Tripfuse is the name of my band, hence the name of the channel. Again, thanks so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you have not. Uh, for more, I'll do more of this song. I'll play you out.